Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do Lichtenberg art. Uh, I've already gotten started on a piece here just to uh, show you what's the, the halfway process. Um, I'm going to be working on this line and uh, these are the materials that I, I typically use. Um, we have just a, just a run-of-the-mill uh, house paintbrush. Uh, a sponge, a uh, container with some water, and a little bit of baking soda. Uh, this this creates the conductivity that we're going to use to uh, create our lines. Uh, otherwise, you know, wood is a uh, is a natural resistor, so so we have to we have to do something to help it along. Um, you can see the, that I do a little bit of tracing. This just gives me an idea of uh, uh, proportions and, you know, rough draft of, of what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm going, uh, and last but not least, this is the, uh, this is the heart of operation. It's a 12, uh, 12,000 volt uh, neon sign transformer. You can buy these uh, online. I, I personally got mine from a, a neon sign repair store uh, for about 30 bucks. I was pretty pleased with myself. All right. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna flip it on and let it rip. All right. Uh, I always recommend using a power strip or something with a with a button that you can flip on and off or else you're just gonna have to disconnect the transformer each time that, that you want to uh, that you want to change your diodes around and never really gets old to watch you know well, you'll notice that uh, you don't want to touch it, but uh, you'll notice that the around the the rings in the wood, the the electricity tends to avoid it. So you can you can usually factor factor that in. You know uh, you can create rings around the around the rings in the wood. And all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the camera down real quick and switch the diodes around. Uh, to, to achieve these lines, I usually, you're, you're going to want to leapfrog your, your connectors. Let's see. Alright. So I take the black one and I'm going to put it over here. Give it a few taps. It doesn't need to be in very well. I mean, you're just going to be moving it in a, in a few seconds anyway. And. Uh, another thing to keep in mind: the the deeper that your lines are, uh, the longer the, uh, I'm sorry, the longer that you that you run the electricity, the deeper your lines are going to be. And you'll see that uh, I'm only using a quarter inch of plywood, uh, so we aren't we aren't going for for uh, deep valleys, uh, just uh, scorching the surface and. and uh, Get our design. Um, some other techniques that you would like to, uh, that you might want to employ to get, uh, say, like a tree formation. You would, um, I'm not going to do it here, but you would just just uh, touch up with your brush and make a you know a dry little brush with uh, with the uh, water and baking soda um, and if if you find a piece or if you have a piece that you really like um, sometimes what I do is I will add a uh, resin you can you can add a colored dye to it um, here I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on stop and I'm going to show you guys a couple finished pieces real quick. All right, these are these are a couple uh, for the most part finished pieces, and you can I mean the best way to get experience is just play around with it and uh, and see what works for you, but. Um, there's the, the 
the sky's the limit. You can you can really do just about anything uh, from from portraits. Uh, it's 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 really a fun art, and uh, I I hope you give it a try. All right, everybody have a great day.